Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa. You might know me as Cut Creaser on social media, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a cat makeup tutorial. And this is inspired by Kieran Ryder, aka Kirsten Coleman, on Instagram. She did this look. She did this look on Cat in, uh, oh god, episode 7, I believe. And uh, she did this on Barbie Ferreira, which, who I am a huge fan of. She's so pretty, I love her. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to bring this tutorial for you guys. It's really simple, really easy. I feel like anybody can do it. Hopefully you guys will get inspired to create this look and hopefully just you know, do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have been enjoying all my content. If you guys haven't figured out, I'm doing a Euphoria series on this channel and I'm also doing it on Instagram and Twitter. So I'm just posting all of those photos and videos on both of those platforms also on this one. So if you guys want to follow me on those platforms, you can go right ahead. It's at Cut Creaser. So yeah. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for allowing me to have so many of you guys following me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. We hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm shook. I'm really shook. I thought nobody was watching my videos, but you know, like, you never know. So, thank you guys so much for making me actually want to post and actually want to create content. It's been really motivating to see how many people are enjoying this series, and it really makes me want to continue the series forever, but I can't because season one was so short. It was only eight episodes. So, I'm gonna stop rambling so you guys can watch this tutorial and learn something from it. So, yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, and why I have this green splotch on my hand. Keep on watching. Okay, so what I've decided to do is try to mix 310C and 330W. They look pretty close, like in shades, so I'm like really confused. They look so similar. I don't know if it's me, but they look exactly the same. I'm gonna mix both of them. Uh, I just feel like I get the best outcome. So I'm gonna take my favorite foundation brush, but first I'm gonna prime with uh, Super Goop's Unseen Sunscreen. And this is literally sunscreen. Um, it's SPF 40 and it's also a primer. So I'm gonna use this to prime. Okay, and then next I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Primer. I'm just gonna use this in the center, not so much all over, but just the center just to hydrate my face some more because I am super dry. So I'm gonna just pump 3C, 310C first and then I'm gonna pump 330W. One pump of that. The texture of the foundation feels like really moussey and loose kind of, like liquidy. I don't know how to explain it better. This, I don't know. I don't know why, but it looks so light. So, uh, for concealer, I'm gonna be using, woo, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in medium tawny, and this is the uh, this is the type of product that I use all over my face. I use the shade medium deep tan all over my face, and I use this to highlight. So. I'm just gonna use this just to conceal like regular. Conceal like or highlight the rest of my face. And I'm gonna take this brush this, and blend this out. My skin got so textured all of a sudden. I don't know what I've been using. Um, I think I need to get a new cleanser. I don't think it's working for me anymore, which sucks, but I have been getting a lot of texture, textured bumps on like the sides of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you guys out. This looks weird, doesn't it? Like it just doesn't look... I don't know, maybe I'm bugging, maybe I am. I'm going to start to use the powders, yay! I'm going to, uh, let's see, 
They gave me all the shades, so they gave me vanilla, banana, translucent, which looks really interesting because it just looks like a white powder, deep peach, which looks like it can go pretty well like for like an all over the face powder, and then a uh, golden orange, which I will definitely save for a client or for somebody, one of my friends, definitely. I'm going to take translucent because I'm really interested in what this is going to look like. So it has a sifter, thank god. I'm going to... powder just went all over the place. I'm going to just put some on the back of this cap. And I'm going to take it and just... Oh, let me wipe away some of the creases on this concealer. Start... Dusting this underneath my eyes If you've seen my foundation routine, you know like I only use the fit me conceal the fit me loose powders. So yeah, this is like Something that's really out of my comfort zone to use a new product I'm just gonna start like dusting away the powder I just applied and just start blending it into the skin underneath my eye. I will say that this kind of highlighted underneath my eye, which is a, a good thing. Um, so it kind of gave me like some dimension. I'm going to apply it in the center as well. And then, yeah, just the center of my face. I think you guys can tell like it's very light underneath my eyes now. So I wouldn't say that this is very translucent and like the powder would be universal for everyone. I feel like it's just kind of like a highlighting powder and um, yeah, it would just highlight underneath your, eye your eyes like very nicely. Yeah, I'm really happy about the powder. The powder looks really good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the powder. I love it. I love it already. Wow. It looks really good. Start by priming my eyelids, not with the ABH primer, but with uh, a concealer. I'm going to use the uh, Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild in the shade Medium Tawny. But before I do that, let me apply some blue stuff because my lips are killing me right now. I think I used a really drying lipstick and it destroyed my lips. So... Um, my top lip is giving like it's swollen because like it's so dry I have to go eat I don't know what I'm doing with my life but I'm really hungry and I have it but I have to create this content for y'all um okay so I'm just gonna take some of this powder and dust it over my eyes I want to have like a skin tone like type of color on my lids, so I'm applying a skin tone powder, a skin tone colored powder. So yeah, this is the ABH Loose Powder in uh, what is this called again? Deep Peach. And once that is set, then we can move on to the best part, the eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two eyeliners today. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty eyeliners from uh, the Vivid Eyeliner Trios. And these two are from separate trios, unfortunately. So I'm going to be mixing the two because um, this one gets a little bit cracky and patchy. <laughs> um, this has like weird ass texture to it. So I'm going to mix it with this lighter lime green one which I'll show you all right now it's a very light lime green so yeah I'm gonna mix the two on my hand and then I'm going to start applying it and I am going into the shade jalapeno and so they're two totally different greens so Kat is wearing like a really neon green eyeliner and I wanted to just do my best to uh, recreate the eyeliner so that's what i'm about to do so it i'm gonna start in the middle of the eyelid because 
I want to have a smooth transition going into the outline of the eye like how she has it so it's gonna be very much um, open in the space so I'm just starting in the middle and getting an opaque color and underneath right here at the very corner of my eye I'm lining upwards so I'm gonna start to move this line upwards because you're just gonna watch me do it so I got the outline there and now I'm just gonna start making the line as opaque as possible And then I'm going to add some more eyeliner again, and I'm going to do the same thing for the inner corner. I'm just going to start to, let me just like look straight for a second. So I just made a little single line right there. I'm going to try to make it as opaque as possible again. And I'm making sure this line attaches to the line connected to my lash line like that keep it in open shape making sure there's space right there in the tear duct my lashes rather than going right directly into my waterline I'm going right underneath my lashes underneath the lash line basically and there you have it that is the eyeliner I'm going to do the um, other side and then I'm going to come back. People have been asking me uh, what eyelash glue that I use. I use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. It's this one, the one with aloe in it. Yeah, this is the one I use. Anything that has to do with like chunky glitter I use lash glue for it I'm going to apply some eyelash glue in my in my three dots technique so they could stay on all night and not budge in the meantime while that is um, drying I'm gonna apply this uh, milk makeup Kush lip balm this is in the shade bubble and it's like a tinted red I'm just gonna apply this the um, screenshots that I have of Kat, she has like a really tinted red lip. And I don't want to put red lipstick on right now because I'm about to go eat. So I decided to put this lip balm and just like layered it on. And it seemed like it was like a kind of glossy lip so I wanted to really mimic that by using that product. Um, next I'm going to apply some highlighter just to finish off this look. And then I have to apply bronzer. Oh, fudge. I have to apply bronzer. I'll be right back. I gotta go get my bronzer. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take my Anastasia bronzer. And uh, this is in the shade Cappuccino. And I'm gonna just lightly dust this on the contours of my face. Because I don't want to contour. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia uh, pigment in Daiquiri. Um, I'm just gonna apply some in the back of my hand. It's like a kind of pink highlight that shifts kind of gold. So it's gonna go on slightly gold. This is what I used in my picture. And I am pretty much done with my look. These eyelashes are like super heavy for some reason. But yeah, um... This is the final look. It looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I kind of did the eyeliner a little bit better this time, but oh well. Uh, period. I'm finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to another Euphoria makeup installment. Yeah, I'm really excited because I really wanted to do a cat look. Um, on YouTube because I haven't seen a lot of them. I feel like Kat doesn't get a lot of shine for her makeup looks, although she should. But um, yeah, I just hope that this was... I hope that this sufficed anybody who is looking for Kat um, makeup tutorials. So yeah, 
I really wanted to post another cat one. I'm really glad I did. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see some more of me, you can click right here. Um, yeah, it's just waiting for you to click on. <sighs> this is this tutorial. This tutorial got me like 13 or 14,000 likes. Like what? That's like most of my following. It's strange. Like I'm shook. But yeah, so click it.